During the Cold War's most intense years in aviation, one bomber made a striking impression by flying higher and faster than any aircraft before it. Its sleek, state-of-the-art design and thunderous roar made it a proof of American air strength. This is the story of the Convair B-58 Hustler, the United States' pioneering operational supersonic bomber. Developed amid the tense Cold War atmosphere, the B-58 Hustler was created in response to a essential question. Could the U.S. Air Force evade Soviet defenses by speed? In the early 1950s, the prevailing belief was that sheer velocity, fast and unstoppable, held the key. Accordingly, Convair, the same company behind the B-36 Peacemaker, took on the challenge of designing a bomber capable of reaching Mach 2, twice the speed of sound. The B-58 was a groundbreaking aircraft featuring a sleek delta wing design and powered by four General Electric J-79 engines, the same type used in the F-14 Starfighter. Capable of soaring at altitudes exceeding 60,000 feet and achieving speeds up to 1,300 miles per hour, it represented the very essence of advanced aeronautical engineering and innovation. The Hustler first took to the skies under the Strategic Air Command in 1960, emerging at a time when the world teetered on the brink of unprecedented geopolitical tension. Although it never engaged in direct combat, that does not diminish its critical role during wartime. The B-58 served as a formidable deterrent, a sleek, razor-sharp weapon poised just above the Soviet Union, signaling a steadfast warning. Its mission was simple yet profoundly important, to penetrate Soviet airspace at high altitude and incredible speed, deliver a nuclear payload and, if possible, return safely, representing a silent but potent message of strategic strength. Flying the B-58 was always a challenging effort, it demanded a skilled crew of three comprising the pilot, bombardier navigator, and defensive systems operator, sternly seated in tandem cockpits. This aircraft earned a reputation for being exceptionally difficult to operate, and even more so to land safely. Often called a Widowmaker, its reputation stemmed from its detailed systems and the very narrow margins for error during flight. Also, maintenance costs were remarkably high, with the plane consuming vast amounts of fuel and limited in its nuclear payload capacity. Meanwhile, fast advancements in Soviet missile defenses made high-altitude bombing missions increasingly perilous. By the mid-1960s, tactics shifted toward low-altitude penetration, a world where the B-58 simply wasn't as effective anymore. Following a decade of active service, the B-58 Hustler was retired in 1970. A total of 116 units were produced. Its successor, the Swing Wing B-1 Lancer, would not enter service until several years later. By then, the Hustler had already secured its place in the aviation history. It was an ambitious and daring enterprise, arguably too fast, too complex, and prohibitively expensive for sustained deployment. Yet, during its brief operational period, the B-58 Hustler stood as the fastest and highest flying nuclear bomber on record. In a Cold War world fraught with the threat of catastrophic conflict, the very existence of such an aircraft may have played a subtle role in deterring the unthinkable. Thanks for watching. If you found this story as incredible as we did, hit that like button and subscribe for more aviation history in the future. From the start, it was apparent this airplane would be a record setter. Technology instantly took several giant strides. The Hustler has mid-mounted delta wings, which was quite an innovation at the time. Because of the high temperatures associated with Mach 2 flight, skin panels were made of aluminum glass fiber honeycomb between layers of metal. The bomber also made the first use of the escape capsule concept. The crew sat in individual capsules that could be ejected in an emergency. That allowed for ejection at supersonic speed. The Hustler was armed with a 20 millimeter Vulcan cannon in the tail and a special pod under the airplane, which was used to carry nuclear or conventional bombs. The pod also carried fuel and could be jettisoned once it was empty. But the main feature of the B-58 was speed. Powered by four J-779 GE-1 engines, it could cruise at nearly 1,500 miles per hour for nearly 3,000 miles. The Hustler started right out breaking records. During the course of its career, the B-58 won the Thompson, Blériot, 
Bendix, McKay, and Harmon trophies for outstanding flight performance. It set 14 world records in international competition. For example, this flight from Texas to California at nearly the speed of sound with the plane never more than 500 feet above the ground. Low-level penetration at high speed is accepted practice today. At this time, however, this was really something. In SAC combat competition, a crew from Carswell Air Force Base scrambled, started engines, and got wheels rolling in two minutes and ten seconds, half the time required for other bombers of the time. Later, special courses were set up, and the B-58 broke record after record for speed. The next step was to go for altitude records, and those two fell to the hustler. In this case, 16 and a half miles high, beating marks set by the Soviets.